High Brows, you asked me so many times about cooler for Laoti TI30 Boeda or other similar one where the motor rim cannot be split. And there we go. It took me some time to design it. I think this is the most efficient one which you can design because the motor rim yeah, cannot be split so we don't have any ventilation holes. So yeah, this is the best system actually for my knowledge now. It's kind of rigid. It will handle some beating. I did couple tests. I'm not using Prusa filament because this one could looks like Prusa, but I'm using much stronger filament. My prints quality, as you can see, are better than decent. They are very precise and the user materials are better than you can expect, literally. But is it easy to install? It's actually crazy easy. With the cooler, you will get that kind of bag with spacers, washers and screws. There are bigger and smaller washers. Let's start with those bigger ones. The difference in size is quite visible. At first, we have to push those bigger washers into those spots on the cooler. Like this. I forgot to mention that one side of this washer is flat and other one got this curvature. So those flat side to the cooler. And you have sometimes to push it pretty hard. And there we go. Around the motor shell we've got six screws. Let's start with this first one, which is behind the valve. It should look more or less like this. This is old stock screw, which is kind of short and included one with the cooler is way longer. I wanted to be sure that when you will tight cooler to the motor shell, the thread inside will be not that much or there will be much smaller chance compared to this tiny one. As you notice, this cooler got big cut to make it super easy to install. So we have to slide it in, but follow the motor wire and slowly, gently. You will find the best spot and there we go and this is this hard part if you've got big fingers like i do because you have to place the spacer and then this tiny washer and just tighten it a little bit to the rim and yeah be super careful don't damage the thread and we have to do the same for other two screws and it will be even harder. I would recommend to start from this middle one and at the end with the last one because you can, as you can see, bend the cooler. It will be much easier to install the screws. Just check how massive is this cooler. Of course, it will be easy to inflate the tires so the valve is outside. It's not covered by, by anything. And the last, the most important question, do you really need that kind of coolers on those not split motors? I would say no, because those motors are splitting the heat quite nicely, so even if you are smashing full throttle most of the time, then the shell is usually a little bit hot, but mostly is just warm. So that kind of cooler could be great as a, some extra add-on, if you'd like to make your scoot looks better, because check how best it looks. And of course, it's increasing a little bit the airflow, it's cooling a little bit, but it's not crazy efficient and you will see, you will not see any big difference. So bros, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section, I will back to you and try to help.